Hi, in this video I am going to talk about row major and column major representation or mapping. Here we will learn how compilers manage arrays either single dimension or two dimensional or three dimension how they manage the array means what the machine code they write when we use arrays in our program. So let us see here I have declared an array of size 5. In our program when we declare any array then at runtime we get the array space of specified size. Here the indices are starting from 0 to 4 as a C language example if we take. This is called as base address or this is also called as location 0 or L0. So L0 here is 100. In our program if we write A of 2 assign 15 here is 15. When we write this statement compiler will convert this into machine code. So for storing the value 15 at this particular location it needs the address of that location and that address of that location is 104 as per our example. So here it should be replaced with 104. So let us see how compiler will make it as 104. So when we use any index or any location of an array when we access compiler will convert it into a formula which will get the address of that location at runtime. So let us see how it will write on the formula. Address of a of 2. This address cannot be absolute. It will generate a formula for getting relative address. So for relative address the base address is taken L0 plus the index what we have written 2 then into the size of the data type. Here we have taken integer as a data type. So integer is 2 bytes. So that is 2. So this is size of data type. So at runtime if the program is getting the memory at location 100 that 100 is becoming the base address of an array then here it will be 100 plus 2 into 2 that is 104. That's how it gets the address of any location. For any location A of i to get the address of any location compiler will replace it with the formula L0 i into W and W is word size. This is index and this is word size. So word size is the size of data type. If it is float in C language it will be 4 bytes. If it is character then it will be 1 byte. Depending on the data type the value of W may change. So this is how the formula is written by the compiler. We write simply A of I or A of 2 anything but it will be replaced by the formula by using that particular index. Some languages prior to C language, before C language, languages used to allow the indices starting from 1 onwards. So here you can see the index is starting from 1 onwards. And in the declaration also A array A starts from 1 ends at 5. Now in this case what will be the formula? So for getting the address of any location A of I formula will be L0 plus I minus 1 into W. As per this example if we get the address of A of 2 then L0 is 100 plus I is 2 minus 1 
into 2 so this gives 100 plus 2 that is 102 so yes this is 102 index of 2 is 102 so this is the formula used for accessing any location if the indices are starting from 1 onwards this used to happen in the languages before C language. After C language every language started supporting arrays indices starting from 0 onwards. The reason is if you see the formula for indices starting from 0 just now we saw the formula was L0 plus I into W. If you compare with this formula for indices starting from 1 then one operation is extra here minus is extra so from C language op onwards this extra operation is removed and they force the programmer to declare an array starting from index 0 only now before that C language some languages used to allow the indices starting from any index ending at any index let us say even we can declare an array A of minus 3 to 5 as some type let us say integer so even this was allowed so if the language is allowing the indices like this it depends on the compiler if the compiler is allowing it like this then what will be the formula so the address of any location a of i can be obtained by taking l naught plus i minus lower bound into word size this will be the formula for any starting index. That's all for one dimensional arrays. Now let us go to two dimensional arrays. In two dimensional array, there are two options. Either a compiler can follow row major method or column major method. So there are two type of mapping. Here I have declared an array of size three by four and we draw using pen and paper we draw an array like this with indices so and so but in real the array will be created as a single dimension single dimension in real because memory is linear and the memory has a single value address that is integer address so actual array will be created like this but compiler will allow us to access the array in the two-dimensional form so I have taken the addresses 500, 502, 4, 6 and the next is this is 8 this is this location so these are the addresses are taken now first we will see row major mapping for this one here I have taken some el elements I have also filled with the elements then let us see how these elements are stored in real in the main memory a00 is stored here then a01 02 and 03 this is first row the next 10 11 12 13 this is second row so the elements will be filled row by row in row major mapping so compiler maps this two dimensional array on the single dimension array so the elements will look like this now this is row major representation the elements from the 2D array are mapped on a single dimension array row by row this is row 0 row 1 and this is row 2 now let us see how the compiler will make use of base address and generate the formula for getting the address of an allocation a of 2 comma 1 now 2 comma 1 if you see it is 518 here it is 518 
so this will be location 0 plus location 0 is this address now it has to go to second row so it should skip two rows first row and second row so it has to skip two rows and in each row how many elements are there the dimension of this array is 3 by 4 3 cross 4 so each row is having four elements so this is 4 now when you skip two rows you will be at the beginning of third row that is row 2 now you have to move one element ahead so that is 1 and this whole thing is multiplied by the size of integer so this gives 500 plus 9 into 2 so that is 518 so this is how it gets the address so it means for getting the address of any location a of i comma j compiler will write the formula l naught i into if the dimensions are m cross n then this is n plus j and this is word size that's it this is the row major formula when the indices are starting from 0 onwards if the indices are starting from 1 onwards then the formula for any location address of any location is written as L0 plus I minus 1 into N plus J minus 1 this whole thing multiplied by W let us find the address of 3 comma 2 here 518 so address of three two L naught is five hundred plus three minus one into four plus two minus one. This whole thing is multiplied by W and this is five hundred plus eight plus 1 9 into 2 so this is 518 and that's it this is all about row major representation next we will see column major mapping or column major representation I have taken a two dimensional array and basically the array created in main memory will be single dimension and these will be the addresses assume that address starts from 500 onwards and I have taken some elements then how the elements are filled are a00 a10 a20 this is column 0 then column 1 column 2 and so on so the array looks like this array looks like this now let us see how the column major formula is written if you want to get the address of a location that is a of 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 is at 5 14 so address of a of 1 comma 2 is taken as location 0 plus now 2 it has to go into second column so location 0 is 500 it's here 
so it has to skip two columns so two columns so as the dimensions are 3 cross 4 that is m cross n number of elements in each column are 3 so this is 3 plus once we skip two columns we will be here in the beginning of third column then we have to move only one location that is what i so this is 1 and this whole thing multiplied by 2 so this is 500 plus 7 into 2 this is 514 if you make it as a formula formula for finding the address of any location i and j is l naught plus j into m plus i multiplied by w and that's it this is the form formula for column major mapping in some languages array indices start from one onwards then what will be the formula address of any location e of i j will be l naught plus j minus 1 into m plus i minus 1 whole thing multiplied by w if you want to get the address of any location let us say a 1 comma 4 that is 518 let us get the address by putting the values in the formula address of 1 4 this is location L naught is 500 plus J values 4 so 4 minus 1 into this is 3 cross 4 that is M cross N so M value is 3 so 3 plus 1 minus 1 this is integer type if you assume that this is integer type then this is 2 so this is 500 plus 9 into 2 and this is 518 that's it we got the address 518 now finally let us look at the formula for row major and column major mapping if the array indices are starting from 0 onwards both the formulas are given here L naught L naught plus I into N plus J into W and here J into M plus I into W if you see the operations this is having 1 2 2 addition operations and 2 multiplications so here also 2 additions and two multiplications so we can say that both the formulas are equally efficient both are equally efficient so a compiler can use any one of the formula so if we are designing our own compiler we are designing our we developing our own language then we can use any one of these formulas but the C language and all other languages that belongs to C family they use row major mapping that's all thank you for watching the video please leave comments so that I can improve the videos based on your feedback thank you for watching